Hi, I'm Greg DeRocher from Safe Ride for Kids, where our mission is to help parents just like you make every arrival a safe arrival, including during pregnancy. We're here today with Erin Brill, who's a friend of ours who is going to be giving birth in a couple days, and uh, we asked her to help us demonstrate for you the current best practice recommendations for pregnant women on how to correctly use their seatbelt. And then she's going to demonstrate a product called the Tummy Shield that she is has been using during this pregnancy and a previous pregnancy and that is available through Safe Ride for Kids. So the first thing Erin's going to do is just demonstrate correct seat belt positioning according to the existing standards or the existing recommendations. So what you're going to want to be looking for is for the shoulder belt to be mid chest, mid shoulder going over the top of the pregnancy with the lap portion on top of the legs as much as possible under the pregnancy. And that's current best practice recommendation. Now, if she were in the driver's seat, you would also want to be moving this seat back away from the steering wheel as much as possible and tilting the steering wheel so it were would be facing more up, uh, as much upward as possible towards the face and not the pregnancy. From a comfort and safety perspective, how do you feel about the way the seatbelt is right now? The comfort isn't terrible simply because I'm far enough along in my pregnancy that the lap belt will actually stay in position. But I can speak from experience that earlier on in pregnancy, um, it is definitely a constant struggle to keep that lap belt down in a comfortable position. You're constantly, as you're driving, trying to push that belt down below the belly to keep that comfortable. Okay. And from a safety perspective, um, it just doesn't feel as secure, especially having now used the tummy shield. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not sitting you know, against my hips like I would like it, um, and it's definitely going to apply pressure to the belly um, in any sort of even sudden stop. And Erin actually is a certified child passenger safety technician, so the safety perspective from her is not only as a pregnant woman, but also as an educated safety expert. So now the tummy shield is, we already had it pre-installed in this seating position. So what she's going to show you now is just how simple and easy it is to utilize the tummy shield once it's correctly installed in the vehicle. And if you noticed, it was a very quick motion. She just took the lap portion of the seatbelt and slipped it into the crash tested anchor point of the tummy shield in order to redirect the, the lap portion of the seatbelt off of the abdomen into the legs and lower pelvis. So now, Aaron, how does it feel and how do you, how do, how do, what do you think about the safety? Sure, definitely more comfortable. Um, it's nice to not have, even even though the lap belt was probably going to stay underneath my belly given the size of it, um, it definitely feels more comfortable because I know that it's not going to ride up and press on the belly and certainly more comfortable earlier on in pregnancy. Um, and it feels just much more secure along my legs and hips um, to where that is going to be directed away from you know any pressure on my pregnant belly. In the event of a sudden stop or crash even. All right. Thanks for your help today. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, <clears throat> at Safe White Ride for Kids, we like to remind you that safety is just about putting the odds in your favor. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you on the next one.